Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file. They're trying to, uh, they're, they, the gentleman makes belt buckles and he's going to use a laser to mark the metal. Um, from there, I don't know what's going on. But if you look, that line's off. If we look in the center, those don't meet up and there's actually two on this one. So if we take this, and move it out of the way, we got one there. So there's another one. So we're going to just delete that. And we are going to go up to object, and he evidently blended it, so we're going to ungroup it, or he's got it grouped together. And we're just going to take one of them. And we're going to do a couple of things to uh, make it more perfect. Whoop. Didn't mean to do that. So we're actually going to, we're only going to use one. I am going to for just a second, I'm going to group this together and move it out of the way. Set our nudge factor on like five inches and move this out of the way so we can put this in the center of the page. Because if we're going to start, we might as well make sure it's perfect. And you can see right there it's not, but we can make it at least semi-perfect. But then we're going to check it out. I am going to, I think it's grouped together. So I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm going to bring in an indexing line and hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm just seeing to make sure it's dead on and it's really, really close. Um, can't even zoom in anymore. Um, but what I can do is I can, I'm going to go up to Snap2 and make sure Snap2 guidelines are on. And I'm going to move this where it snaps to. So now it's should be perfect. And we can always test it by control D and making a duplicate. And the one I'm doing it for, if you'll make your duplicate, and I know you, why you probably had that, but I'm gonna set it on zero, zero, and I'm gonna make a duplicate, and then I'm gonna mirror it. Didn't really need to mirror it. That way I need to mirror it this way. Ah, need to mirror it this way. And then that way we can see if we're good. So we're good. So what I would do now, I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to move it out of the way, and I'm going to bring in our belt buckle back into the center of the page by hitting P on the keyboard. <clears throat> but we need to find the center between these two lines, and we could do it by measuring. And there are several ways to do it, but I think the best way to do it is go ahead and, and ungroup this guy. And then we should have individual, let's ungroup it again. We should have individual lines and we do. So I'm gonna hold down the shift key and grab that one. So now we got both those. I'm gonna go up to effect and I'm gonna blend. I'm just gonna blend it one time. That put a line exactly in the center. That's what the blend does. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, grab it now and go to object and break the blend apart and then make sure we can delete that one later. Now I'm gonna bring in this, and I'm going to move it down to where it snaps to that node. So see now, well, it's not even there. Maybe that was, maybe that is a problem. Snap to that node, and let's just see if this is, see it's a little bit off. So what we're gonna do, we could do two things. But probably the easiest thing to do would be able to just grab that, grab that. I think I actually got the line too. Um, see, I've got the line. I just want our curve fixture. Tell you what I can do. I'm going to go to object and lock, and I'm going to lock that, whatever I'm grabbing. Huh. So let me go unlock it. Um, tell you what, I'm going to set my nudge factor on five inches. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to nudge it out of the way for just a second. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to stretch this thing out and make it that size of that line. There's two things you could do. You could make this the size of the line, or we can take this item 
and just stretch it to that node. Now, we don't know if we're in the middle yet because we stretched it, uh, but we could bring in an indexing line, have it snap to there, and now look at it, and we're still good. So now we've got that. I don't need to bring that other piece back in yet. I am going to control D and make a duplicate. While holding down the control button, I'm going to grab that first point, and I'm going to have it snap to that center one. Then I'm going to shift select the other one, and I think he has one, two, three, four, five, six of them. We've already got two, so we want to blend four. And hit apply. So now we have, and it's perfect. Now what we can do is I'm going to go ahead and, and go ahead and break the blend apart. And go ahead and ungroup that for just a second. I'm going to go to object and group and ungroup. And because I really, I want to group it back together, control G, and then I'm going to, holding down the control button, I'm going to move it over. And so now, I didn't make a duplicate, control D, holding that, holding down the control button, and now it should be perfect, and we can delete that line. So now, you're dead on. Now, he mentioned something about, uh, does he need to, you know, he's new to lasering, so you would need to do that on all of them. Uh, this this one would be identical, so you could actually go through here and um, I'm afraid I'm going to get the lines if I do that. Um, let's try this. Holding down the Alt key and selecting all those, Control G to group them, Control D to duplicate them, and let's see if that didn't work and that worked. So now what we can do is delete that it should be the same size box. So I'm going to grab that top node and have it snap to right there. And I didn't get it. So zoom in a little bit and see we got a little extra line there. So we're good to go and then delete that line. So when you are when you want to mark something with a laser, you don't want any of those extra lines. So now we can move in this framework back and we should be good to go. Other than that, I mean, that would laser, you know, I would do the same thing. You know, look at that. That's not even touching the line. So what I would do is, is grab one of these that we know is uh, go up to object group and ungroup it and then grab, well, let's tell you what, let's just make a duplicate of that and move it up here and then ungroup it. And, well, you know what? If this is half the distance, maybe it will work. Let's go and, and rotate it 270 degrees. Well, they're going the opposite. So we could flip it. And let's see if they're not, if these, if these boxes are the same size. And see, they're, they are, with the exception that they're not to that point. I grab the line. I'm not even down there yet. So on this one, we're going to, it all depends. Let's see, he's going all the way to the top. So what I can do is we're going to ungroup this. And we're going to take away the middle ones. That one's good. So we're going to uh, hold down the control button. And what the control button does, it keeps you from, um, you want that four-sided cross. The control button won't let you go left or right. it make you go straight up. So now we've got that one selected. Hold down the shift key and select that one. And he's got one, two, three, four, five, six again. So now we can blend them twice again. And then they should be perfect. And then just do the exact same thing to the other side. And you should be good to go. I have a little question on this. Um... You know, this is a little bit rough, uh, but, you know, if he's just using it for a guide, for a marking guide, that might be sufficient. I'd actually maybe, I mean, it's, it's, I like the initials, the DW, uh, the way he did it. Uh, I don't know what font, maybe if he sends me that font, I could show him how to clean up. Now, all the lines 
or hairline. And so, and, and this gentleman is new to laser engraving. Uh, you could most definitely mark this with hairlines on metal, uh, depending on what kind of metal, if it's a fiber labor laser, or if it's a CO2 laser, you could spray it with Ceramark and you could actually mark it with uh, running in a vector format. But other than that, I think it looks pretty good. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.